A beautiful example of a scepter, um, as clear as one could get scepter from the uh, Zambezi Valley, Zimbabwe, Shangan Quartz. Now in this case, a uh, little bit of amethyst, uh, uh, maybe interlinked with smoky quartz, quite typical to this locality. A uh, little bit of uh, what appears to be a thin layer of chalcedony perched on the outside of the quartz. And this, of course, is not obtrusive in any way because it's um, it's got underlying patterning. So it's as if there's like these little chalcedony drawings on top of the crystal. Now, I haven't, uh, uh, I don't know if the guy I got this from had it in acid for clean. I haven't had it, but if you put it in acid, the, the brownishness over here would stay away. Um, I'm actually starting to enjoy a little bit of the natural on the crystals as well. I'm sure with, with a little bit of acid treatment, this will look like a sweetie, so perfect. But uh, there's there's only silica here, so so you're not going to damage anything. You're just basically going to remove some of the iron staining. Lovely example of a uh, scepter, and it's actually got a little stand. Of course, it doesn't. It wouldn't stand up straight on that little crystal jutting out there as well. Let's see if we can have a look at that crystal. Um, and there would be the little stand made up of pretty solid quartz. All the way from Zimbabwe, Shangan Quartz, another masterpiece from this fascinating locality from a color point of view and of course a form point of view as you see here. I mean have a look at this like doubly terminated crystal sitting on the scepter stem.